What's up everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com. Today I got something really fun and interesting for you. So I've always wanted to do um, something with my 3D printer, which is play something, a beep, a noise, something to tell me that the printer is about ready to start printing so I can come over here and watch it and make sure it's running good, all that jazz. But I found something much, much cooler. What do you guys think about playing music with your 3D printer? So, how about this? Yeah, Mission Impossible. My 3D printer just played Mission Impossible. And it takes a lot less effort than you think. Now one thing you have to have though is of course the LCD screen or a buzzer connected to your 3D printer. Okay, you have to have that. That is a manual thing. Must have I should say. So, I put a piece of tape on here because if I play that, if I play that again, all right, if I play that again. It sounds really loud. But if I hold it, it sounds better. And there are other songs that sound horrible if you don't tape this guy up. So, side note, that's what I do to quiet it down a little bit. So, I'll show you how I did this in a second, but let's try one more. I'm not going to show you what it is and see if you can guess. Now for those of you who uh, who play way too much of this game, this is a video game, you'll know exactly what it is. <laughs> the ending was kind of kind of funny. Let's play another one. See if you guys can guess what these are. <laughs> and you can you can probably tell if you know these songs that that some of those notes sound a bit funny. Let's try this one. All right, one more, one more. Let's see if you know this. This one's a fun one. All right, if you didn't know what those were, those were Zelda songs. Come on, guys. All right, so check it out. I'm going to show you how I did this, uh, but before before I really get into the nitty gritty, I just wanted to kind of make a point. Uh, and the point here is that I want to watch the print start. And so I try to find some commands just to beep the actual um, buzzer, which you can do. Um, so it's M300 and then you play a, um, a frequency and a time duration. That's how this actually works. So. I looked and looked and looked and looked and couldn't find much, but I found one thing which allows me to convert ringtones over to actual G code directly. So there's a guy that wrote a little program that does this, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's pretty easy. It's pretty fun. And like, possibilities are endless. There's so many of those little ringtones out there. Let's, let's get started on that. All right. So, sorry about the quality of this, but I'll link all these things in the description. So first off, I was doing some digging and I found this guy. So, uh, Colin Edwards. And uh, he actually wrote a little web page. See, I threw, away a look, I threw it together a quick web page to convert RTTL ringtones to G-code. Alright, so you just click on that link and I'll, again, put it in the description. And here it is. Super simple. You just drop in the RTTL 
and it converts it to G code. Now, where do you get these ringtones at? They're everywhere. Just Google RTT, uh, what is it? 3Ts? RTT TL. I happen to find an arcade version. Um, and there's NES and uh, 64 and um, just D just oh, there's the whole Final Fantasy, you know, the whole Final Fantasy things here. Um, hilarious. So you just go to one of these. All right. Now I'm actually going to go back to uh, to this one. And uh, there's uh, oh, which one is it? Bomberman. I want to put Bomberman on there so I can listen to it. pretty random but hey let's try it so if I go over here I can actually get the the code and the code here is in gibberish to me but it's a uh, RTTTL and it's basically a, a ringtone for the old school Nokia's in this case so I copy that come over here alright paste it into the uh, part convert it and then I can also hit play here and listen to it Alright, so that's it. So what I'm going to do is I grab my SD card out of my printer. I'm going to pop it in my computer here. Alright. Now I've already got this set up so I can just do it easy here. But basically I'm going to copy the G code. And go into this file, which you can just make one. Paste it. Alright, now I've got the Bomberman code in here. Save as. And uh, you have to hit on notepad you have to hit other all files I mean and then um, you have to type in what you want to save it dot G code if you don't save it as a G code it won't work so now I've saved it on my SD card as a as a file let's pop it back in here and see what it sounds like there we go. Now, if I take this off, you can hear how bad that one is because that's got a lot of different things going on. And it sounds really horrendous when it's open. So, not so nice. I like the tape on there, it's a little more quiet. So now that we've got our ringtone and we know it plays, all right, this is where we can grab this G code. All right, come over here to our. Um, oh, move this around. Come over here to our slicer. I'm going to demonstrate this in K slicer for now. But basically, down here in a tab, we've got G code. All right, over here we've got G code. So this is our G code. So right here it says uh, to set bed temperature, right? So I'm going to set the bed temperature. Okay, then I'm just going to drop. Well, first I set the temperature of the nozzle. Then I set the bed temperature. And I'm going to just, uh, I have to control V. There's the Bomberman code. All right, I just dropped it in there. So after the, the bed is heated, it'll play Bomberman. All right, and then... Uh, and then let's grab another one. Well, okay, we'll just leave it at that. No, I'm gonna grab another one. All right, this one is the Orca song. All right, so now it's gonna play Bomberman. It's gonna come down here and it's gonna home all axis. Then it's gonna heat the hot end to 230 degrees. And while it's or, or, uh, when it's done heating the hot end, I'm going to drop in the Orca song. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. So that's how you set up the prefix G code to get it to actually work. Now, I haven't really found the way to actually stop the print yet, but instead it just gives me a little time on delay and allows me to run over there and, and uh, do what I want to do and watch the printer. So, stick my uh, card back in here. 
All right, and hit. Uh, I actually need to change one thing really quick, which is on the on this. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save and save it in here. So I'm gonna slice it. Do 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 do. All right. Now I've got my got my card. Pop it in here. And we're going to play it. So it's going to heat the bed. All right. The bed is heated. Played the song. And uh, now. It will heat the hot end, and when it actually gets to the right temperature, bad angle here. When it gets to the right, when it gets to the right temperature, it's going to play the other song. That's going to allow me to uh, to know when it comes over here, to to allow me to know when I need to go and look at it. And it is going to home again because that's how I have it set. Gives me just enough time to extrude some extra plastic, make sure it looks good, and off it goes. So there you go. I know it's kind of it's kind of silly, but the process is so easy. I thought I would share it because I actually had a really hard time finding information on this. Believe it or not. Um, so the next step for me is to. Uh, is to actually stop the printer and pause it and allow me to have an interface to select running it again but uh, I should be able to easily throw in a pause command but uh, for now this is great this is fun it's so easy so thought I'd share it with you playing music with your 3D printer but it has a purpose it's not just for fun but it is fun peace alright 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 little update this guy, I had to put it down there. Alright, M25 is a pause command for the SD card uh, for Marlin. So, let's, uh, you see it right there. Let's see if that works for our pause, and then I'll just have to uh, basically play, or uh, hit resume on the card menu. So, let's give that a shot and see if that works. If that don't work, then I don't know. The music by itself Allowing me time will be fine, but let's see what happens here. I'll pull this off so we can hear it really loud. I think I've got Bomberman on there. Heating the bed. Heating the hot end. And the reason that I want to do this is because I have this manual override for filament extrusion and that makes sure I get that print started nice. Because I have problems with that.
Oh, I noticed one thing. The uh, temperature went down when it was playing the song. It's kind of funny. Don't know why. Okay, it says heating done. And I presume it's paused for me. So I'm going to manually extrude some plastic and then just go to, yep, resume print on the uh, SD card here. It'll home and then it'll take off. So there you go. So that is how you um, set up a pause before your print. You don't have to add the tones in there, but if you just put an M25, then what you do is you go in here and you can pause or start the print. So, successful. That's how it's done. Peace out. Leave a comment if you want.